Hello everybody and welcome to Vlogmas episode 2. I don't think I ever really addressed what I'm doing this year with Vlogmas, maybe a couple of times on stories, but December just came around so quickly. I filmed episode 1 without even realising that it was going to launch in December. So here we are, episode 2, it's now the 4th of December which reminds me I need to open up my advent calendars. Um, should we do that now quickly? Let's do that now. So number four, we have a long one. So very hard to do one-handed. And this is one of their mini travel perfumes in the smell, the coveted Duchess Rose. This smells incredible, so gorgeous. This is a little bit more of a heavy smell for me, so it's definitely an evening scent. But yeah, these are so easy just to pop in your handbag when you're on a night out. I got very sidetracked just then from the advent calendar, but the plan for Vlogmas is I'm gonna be doing two videos up into the lead up to Christmas. I think last year I was doing like maybe three, four videos a week, and as much as I loved it, it almost just took the enjoyment out of it, because as soon as I'd finished a video, I was then editing it, and I'm still in this apartment where there is practically no Wi-Fi, so to upload it I'd always have to go downstairs, sit in the lobby for an hour or so, and I just had no evening. So as much as I'd love to do vlogmas like that, I just can't this year. Got some really cute things planned today with B. It's currently a Saturday, so um B's off work. And I've actually got a really nice few days ahead as well. So I think you guys are going to enjoy this vlog. First of all, though, the day that this video is going live, which will be Wednesday. Astrid and you have got 25% off all of the hoops and huggies if you use the code Xmas1. So I thought I would switch out all my earrings that I currently have in for the huggies and um, show you guys some of my favourites. So hopefully you guys can make the most out of the discount if you missed Black Friday. Good time to treat yourself, good time to treat your loved ones as well whilst they are on offer. I showed you this stack I have in at the moment, I think in a couple videos ago. Um, I definitely showed you these two, this, this lovely little stud that's just so gorgeous and then this like slightly twisted huggy. Um, haven't really need these ones though, I've had so many questions on them. Um, I don't think these will be in the offer but um, they come as a set with the matching necklace and also the matching bracelet and all together I just really love them. I don't usually wear matching sets jewellery wise but um, it's a nice little bit more of a statement. Yeah, they're gorgeous, but let's switch them out. So I picked out one of my favorite huggies from my jewelry collection. So I think one of my favorite earrings from Astrid and Mew that I've shown you guys quite a few times on my Instagram are these. These are their illusion hoops. And what I love is that you get two earrings for one and it looks like you have more than one piercing, but obviously it's just the one piercing. I don't know if I want to put these in there because now I have three piercings. I think if I'm gonna wear three huggies, it might look like too much if there's four. And I love wearing things in odd numbers as well. I think odd numbers always look so much more aesthetically pleasing and do just look better on the eye. But yeah, I really had to show you guys them because they are just stunning. Okay, first of all, let's take out my current earrings. So we've got a fresh ear. There we go, we've got one naked ear, ready to be decorated. So I always like to go small at the top and then to big. So let's start off with the small ones. Um, I've actually got this one here, that's a new addition. Haven't worn it yet, but I got it especially for Christmas because it's this really beautiful green emerald colour. And I don't wear colour, as you guys know. Um, and even with jewellery, I don't really wear any colour. But as it's Christmas, I thought, it would be nice just to have something a little bit more festive. This made my ear very red because it's actually really hard to put earrings in without a mirror. Okay, and then for my seconds, I'm gonna put in these really gorgeous dainty Diamante style huggy with a cute little star at the end. Add that like Christmas festive stack I'm going for. And I just really love the way the little star hangs off the end, like a little Christmas decoration. Really loving the way the green just pops. And then these two stack together as well, just looks really lovely. So for my thirds, I've got a few options which are a slightly bigger hoop, but again, really minimal. And what I love about these is that the crystals go on the outer, but also the inner, because obviously when you're wearing them, you don't see the back. So there's actually not a lot of point having them in the back, but this way you get to see the front and the back. So it just looks a lot more expensive and premium. Um, let's see what these ones look like in. Okay, I really like the way that looks actually, that's lovely. But then I feel like there's a bit of a jump from this one to this one. So maybe I could swap out this one for something slightly chunkier. Or I could, instead of having this one, I could use these ones. So this is like a really lovely little cluster huggy 
and it's got all of these different shapes in it which is really beautiful my mum actually got these for me last christmas and um so i've had these a long time now um and i went through a stage of only wearing these ones so they've so I like all Astra jewellery, they just last so well. Okay, what do we think of this? Again, I think that feels a bit uneven to me because that hangs low, down lower than this one. So either I could swap these two around or switch out this one for these ones. I showed you these ones in my last video. And then that slightly thicker huggy as well. I just think they're so gorgeous. Really perfect for this time of year as well because they are so kind of glitzy. Okay, so I've been very indecisive. I couldn't choose which earrings to put where, but I finally come down to the final ones, so in this ear we have the emerald green, the cluster and then the large hoop. And then on this side we have the little cute star huggy, the cluster and then the large hoop as well. So yeah, slightly different on each side but I actually really like um, having a little bit of irregularity. Switch out the necklace as well for a more dainty one for today. I'm going to pop on this pendant one. Um, these are actually engravable, so as you can see it says KH, which they really kindly gave to me at the Ashton Mew Christmas dinner. Yeah, there we go, a nice fresh stack and a new necklace. It's a really easy way to subtly change up your look. I always get comments from my friends and family when I change them up and then and they're always like, oh, new stack and Astrid and Mew are just the best for that. So a little reminder, Xmas One gets you 25% off huggies and hoops and everything will be linked down below as always. My hair is really annoying me at the moment. I don't know what's going on because I cut myself like this long fringe thing, which is fab, but as soon as it's unstyled, it just looks really weird. Um, and I need a cut so bad because the ends are rather dead. Anyway, I booked B and I a really cute little lunch date today. So I need to get an outfit together. I have just had this order from H&M arrive. I actually put this on my stories for you guys because I saw it on H&M. Like I always do, I end up buying it for myself. Oh my god, no, I love it. It's this really cute cardi, and this just looks really Chanel to me. So, um, yeah, I picked it up, and I'm going to wear this, I think, today, with, like, a black coat over the top. Imagine spending an extortionate amount of money at the vet to get this one's ear stitched up, and it never healed. It was stitched up for maybe, oh, it's a long time, a few months, I think. And, I mean, as you can see, like, there's still, it's still kind of shaven, where the vet had to shave it. But it never healed, so um, I know he's got a bit of an ugly ear, but it's a good thing he's got a cute face. So we're on the way to lunch. I've got the H&M Cardi on, um, black leather leggings, I sell heels. These heels are actually really surprisingly comfortable, um, even though they're like a stiletto. I've got to be here, say hello to the vlog. Hello. We all love it when you're in the vlog. Yeah, we normally look at the menu <laughs> before we go places, but I didn't actually look at the menu and I've never actually eaten in Chilton before, I've only gone for drinks, so hopefully there's lots of veggie options on there. I don't think there is. I think there might uh, be. There's not caviar and <laughs> oysters. So we're just in Chilton and what? Two glasses of wine and truffle fries, truffle mayo. Truffle mayo. B and I are really unintentionally matching today, so we've both got our little cardigans on, leather trousers and boots. Okay, we're now heading into Selfridges, have a little look around. It's always so beautiful this time of year, so I don't know why that was funny. <laughs> in 34 now we've ordered their Christmassy cocktails. I've got, what was this one called again? Um, but look how Christmassy it is. So pretty. And what did you get me? Be panicked ordered. Really panicked. It's called Panky Panky. It always kind of looks like whiskey. Is it got whiskey in it? No, no, it's gin. Okay, taste test. Oh wait, we need to cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, Bob. It's really nice though. It's like a mix of champagne and 
some kind of like liquor. It's very Christmassy. It's like honeycomb. Yeah, it's a bit honey. Oh no, order my one next. So I got the pumpkin salad and B got the veggie burger and some chips. Hello guys and good morning. It is, God I sound like a presenter then, good morning. It's a Monday and B's got the day off work. So we're going to the post office. Oh, that cat. I, know, I thought it was a dog for a minute. It's on a walk, that's really cute. Just doing a little post office run. But then we're going to Vista Village. Have you been to Vista before? No. Um, see, I've only been once and it wasn't to shop. It was for a photo shoot for Michael Kors. Do you remember that? Is that Vista Village? Yeah. Well, and it was really such a weird, it was so random. It was like a last minute shoot for Michael Kors and Vista Village. Yeah, like I never saw the photos, don't really know what happened oh, there. Yeah. It's really weird. Oh, that is weird. Um, no, my whole family have been, but I've never been. I'm so surprised that we haven't been before. But I just never really want to go at the weekend because it looks like it'll be chaotic at this time of year. So we're like up early on a Monday. It's not that early. Yeah, but like most people probably like stroll over like two. Yeah. We're yeah. early. That is really cute. Look, he's missing the top of his ear. Oh. Yeah, look. It's just fluff. Oh, hello. Oh, you're very cute. Oh, hi. Oh, he is missing the top of his ear. Are you going to help us with the Depop stuff? Meow. Yeah. Also doing a little charity shop run. So we're going to make the drive to Bista. Still got so much charity stuff in the back. I hope there's a Starbucks drive through on the way, but we're just going to have to see, I think. Someone change the seat setting. No? Who's been in my seat? So you need your seat, Bob. <laughs> I have got the worst period pains. They're not period pains though. I don't get period pains. I get period aches. Like yeah. my whole lower ab yeah. abdomen is just aching. It's like a dull ache. Yeah, I get that as well. It's horrible. I remember once I used to get like when I used to get them really, really bad. Um, I fainted in the bathroom and got sick at the same time. Oh, that's horrible. I know. I know. That's so horrible. I remember when I first ever had mine. I started, I think like the night before and then went to school the next day yeah. and it was so horrible. I went home and my dad picked me up and he got me magic stars and a magazine. Oh my God, did you tell your dad? Yeah. Fucking hell, I didn't. My dad is so like understanding of those kind of things. Like he's really, he just knows what to say and what to do. Really? Yeah. No, he doesn't. <laughs> now, every time I'm on my period, I crave magic stars because that's what I did on my first ever period. Oh God, that's so weird. <laughs> so now I'm like, I really want magic stars because I know it makes me feel like comforted and better. I, um, mum was on a snow day and <laughs> I went sledging and, um, <laughs> no, nothing, nothing like with the snow happened. <laughs> Imagine, no, no. That's what I was envisioning. No, I just got home and, and, I remember thinking, what the fuck? This can't be happening. Yeah. And I just pretended like it didn't happen. Yeah. And then I went to the loo again like an hour later and it was still there and I was like, Oh fuck. no. Sat down with my mum and I told her and she was like, Oh my god and then I was like, Anyway, it's happened now, it's it'll be it's done now and she was like, What do you mean? And I was like, Well, that's it now and she was like, No, it ha it lasts for a week and I was just like, You're fucking kidding. I thought it was just a day. <laughs> Oh, I was so upset. Imagine if it was a day, that would be so good. I know. They should actually give women like time off work when it comes to periods because if it was men, they would definitely have the day off work. Oh, like, yeah. oh, period day. Yeah, for sure. And it would just be a thing, but because we're women, we just crack on with these things. Yesterday, I was driving home from getting my brows done. Oh, I got my brows done, by the way, guys. So if they look a bit dark, that's why um, I got them headed. Oh, and next time I get my brows done, I'm getting them microbladed. Oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna get my microbladed. Oh my god, get them done um, at Sapphire. Yeah, I might. I was thinking about oh my god, it. Please do. Um, I'm just gonna get the front bits done. Yeah, but I'm driving back from getting my brows done, and um, I just burst out crying. You know, and you're like, <laughs> and that happened twice. And I like got myself together. Then like five minutes later, I was like. <laughs> Yeah, when I got my eyebrows done, the woman was like, you need to grow the front two bits. And I'm like, yeah, I've been trying for 24 years. Yeah, they just, there's not any follicles there. I uploaded Vlogmas episode one yesterday, and all the comments were so lovely. It makes me so happy. Like, I'm literally replying there in bed, like, smiling to myself. Like, mm. Thank you for that. And it's made me really excited to film the rest of Vlogmas, even though we're just going to do two episodes a week. I feel like today's a very festive day, though, going to Vista. If we ever get there, 
literally Sorry, crawling along the road. road. Well, hopefully we'll go buy a little nice Starbucks. Oh, I could redo with one of their um, paninis. Hmm, really? Their paninis or their Marmite and cheese roll. Oh, their Marmite and cheese roll and a nice latte. I don't really think I've ever had food from Starbucks. It's not the best, but it's also really nice. It's like that comfort food. Like it's kind of shit, but yeah, I don't good. think I like that. Stodge. Yeah. Um, it's raining. When I die, um, this is really morbid, but a few things. Um, everyone has to turn up to the funeral looking really glam. But excuse me, what are you doing? This is not two lanes. Um, like all in black really glam also no balloons into the sky because that's really not very environmentally friendly i don't think anyone does that on the funeral yeah but they're like oh bye kate like as a kind of after thing no right what is everyone doing day. oh no i need to okay um then i want to be uh made into like a tree or something cremated but you know how you can be made into an actual tree yeah, but you have to be cremated first okay well yeah cremated well, touch wood, first of all, that I'm not going to die. Right, can you hold this in You never will, you'll be here forever. Um, was it you who I said to the other day, would you rather your partner die first or you die first when you're old? It's quite nice. Um, I'd rather, don't know, it depends how much I love them. <laughs> I mean, I hope you love them a lot, but then maybe at that age you're like really sick of them and you're like, do you know what, Joe? go um i would much rather um, them die because the thought of my husband future husband being on his own yeah that's what i mean if i loved him I would, like hopefully i love him a lot <laughs> he will <laughs> you know i will and yeah i wouldn't want him to be on his own no that'd be really sad like i'd be obviously gutted and really like depressed but i would rather myself go through that than somebody i love go through that yeah yeah you're right what I was thinking. But B, maybe we'll never get married and maybe we'll just live together forever. In that case, then I'd wish you to die first. Because um, life without me would be shit. You don't have to go through life without me. No, I think I'd want you to die first. What, so I don't have to live without you? Um, yeah, no, because I think that you'd be really depressed. And see, you know what I'm like, I don't mind time by myself. Obviously, it's different if you're dead. Oh but my god! You're basically just saying you don't care if I die. No. You are. I. If I died first, you would be so sad, me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> what? And you wouldn't? No, I would. Yeah, but, like, I would. A hole here. I, I feel like you are the kind of person who could die of loneliness. I don't think I could die of loneliness. Yeah, you're right. I definitely would die of loneliness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really raining. My hair's done. I've just washed it. Oh shit, am I in the completely wrong way? Am I doing something really stupid? I just don't know. But why is he not going forward? Just, just keep going left? Wait, I'm really just confused. Just keep going, I don't know. I'm really confused. Have I just done something really naughty? I don't think so. No, I think they're all going right. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, someone followed you, it's fine. Okay. Rain is falling all, all around, around us. No one's playing. We're having fun. Cause it's raining. But we're going to Bister. Are you going to buy anything today? Um, I don't know. I don't need anything. But I feel like Bister is the kind of place that, like, you can't really go in like wanting something specific. You never really know yeah. what you're going to find. What about you? Um, no. B and I finished selling Sunset. Loved it. Wait, did you finish it then? Oh, you just you didn't finish it. I finished it. I think I I have like 30 minutes left to go. Did you love it? I didn't think it was as good. Oh, I just think I really enjoyed just looking at their outfits and the houses. Like, yeah, but I don't I think I, have, there wasn't enough houses for me this time. Yeah, there were. Yeah, it was a lot of like just drama. Christine's a bitch. Yeah. Yeah, we know. So I think yeah, there's this whole love drama that went on, and they didn't tell us show um to do with christine trying to leak a fake story about Rochelle, which is why everyone had their back up so much. no no so the last half an hour kind of oh no i think i did up. watch that oh, i don't know anyway Rochelle's ex was six foot six foot eleven eleven six eleven nearly fucking seven foot yeah how how tall is um christine though she's like 
she, she can't be that She's like, like almost six foot, isn't she? Did you see it when she was like, yeah, the love of my life. And then she kind of like paused and realized. Because obviously she's married and has a baby now, but she called him the love of her oh, life. Did she? Yeah, like it just slipped out. Where was Brett in the whole series? He just wasn't there. He was. Yeah, but did he say a word? Yeah. No, it was just Jason. It was a Jason show. Um, they look the same. So they're shorter than me. Oh yeah, 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 they're tiny. Mm. Who knows? I said. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just pulling up to a service station. Get a little oh, Costa. Would have been better for Starbucks, a Vegas Coffee Cheesers. But there also is an M&S. So M&M&M&S. Which isn't all bad, but it's raining. Oh, we can probably get a um, umbrella. Well, we're there, right? Oh, there's WH Smith as well. Oh, yeah. Get some water. Well, can you not buy water from Costa and Ness? Oh, yeah. Oh, does it have to rain? It will stop later. My hair. Okay, we're in the MS. Gonna get a bit of food. Yeah. I don't know like if I should get a brekkie kind of thing like um Yeah or a lunchy thing. Yeah, if it's lunchy I'd probably get pasta. If it's breakfast I don't know, none of these sandwiches are looking very Green appealing. Nice. Which one? Green cranberry. Oh that looks lovely. I don't really know what I want. Yeah, I got it, I'll eat some. We got the cranberry and brie M&S sandwich. This looks so good. One of my all-time guilty guilty pleasures is cheese, cheese and jam. Cranberry. No, cheese and jam. Oh, that's cranberry is basically jam, right? And then we've also got some corn caterpillars for the road. Sometimes I really wish I had another arm and hand. Really? I just don't have enough hands sometimes. Really? Mm. Go on a drive. Mm. I want to eat this. Lori's are only allowed to go 60. No. Whereas we can go 70. Oh, really? Yeah. It's because they're so big and scary. Mm. Learned that on my speed awareness course. Uh -huh, did you? Guys, I was going 22 in a 20 zone. And my tickets always go home to Brighton, they don't go to London. And my mum refused to send me the information to pay the fine and make me do the speed awareness course. She was like, Katie, I don't make you do anything. This is the one thing I'm making you do. Bless her. She's right. Should have been more careful. Are you looking at your work emails? No. Bee, get off them. <clears throat> Just checking. We know how at your job you obviously get promoted and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like, what's the equivalent in my job? Okay. Like, what's the equivalent of my promotion? Like maybe when I get like to each milestone, like, oh, 100K, that's a promotion. And then when you reach 2,000, 200,000 followers, that's a promotion. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I want to get promotions. Um, I think your promotions are when you get your rates go up and stuff. I guess so. What do you think? Well, like, then my rates will go up because of my following going up. But my, um, but I could get like loads of orders and loads of um, sales. Share with the name. Oh, this is dangerous. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I get a promotion. Yeah. Like my numbers would go up, but it doesn't mean anything. Still means I'm a good designer. Yeah, true. When you get a promotion, we celebrate your promotion. Yeah. But like, I'm not gonna celebrate when my rates go up. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, yeah, I know. But I guess we then we do celebrate when your followers. Yeah. yeah. So maybe it's when my followers, like when I hit milestones. Yeah. Another thing I learned in my driving awareness course is these like things here. You don't actually have to follow them. Oh. So there's like a what they call them. It says like 60 miles an hour and like, uh, like writing on here. Yeah. But if it's in a certain writing, you don't have to follow it, it's just a guide. Oh. But then say like I was to crash 
um, I wouldn't be able to, like, it would affect the insurance. They'd be like, well, you weren't following the guidelines, so we can't help you. Interesting. Um, really felt like I was in school again. So, Kate, um, what's your answer to this? Did they actually say that? Yeah, they'd be like, so, Kate, what does it mean if there are lampposts and how fast would you have to go? So, if there's lampposts, no, street, street lamps, then it's 30 miles an hour, unless stated otherwise. Yeah. Might have a Colin. guys you know in the last vlog B had just been on a second date now oh, there's a third ah! gosh you're really cringing me out <laughs> I know I'm like a mum I'm really sorry um I'm just really excited about it like the first date is like oh do I like you or not and the second is like the confirmation and the third is like oh yeah no I really like you I want to see you again do you know what I mean like for you not for him he obviously likes you why <laughs> is it any different <laughs> Oh my god, I'm getting really hot. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no, it's good, I guess. So what's the third date? What are we doing? Um, Not that I'm coming. <laughs> we're going to um, the Mexican. Nice. So hey. And then... Well, I don't know. So we, I finished work at five, so we could meet him at five and go to Covent Garden first. Walk around Covent Garden. Yeah. And then go to whatever. I think... It's a really cute date so you can walk around, look at the Christmas lights, get mulled wine and it's like just really like I really hope he doesn't say this, I'm literally gonna cringe so bad. He won't watch my vlogs. Well I hope he doesn't. And for also my sake. he if he is watching, he would have got bored five minutes in and then been like, oh okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean he's not gonna watch my vlogs. Well fuck you don't know. Covent Garden and then walk up to Soho and then um and then like drinks afterwards. Yeah. Have you booked anything for drinks? Yeah, Desperate. Oh okay. In Kitty Court. Oh yeah, that'd be really nice. Yeah, and then after we can go to like Chinatown. Oh my god, yeah. Aw, that would be lovely. Yeah. Really horrible dating. I don't like it. Like, yeah, you just don't like the uncertainty, don't you? No, I hate it. I hate not knowing. Yeah. But, like, you've got nothing to worry about. You know, like, if, if it doesn't work, it's, it's nothing to do with you. Yeah, I know, but I know. You can't do anything, like, you can only just be yourself. Devil. Hasn't been any red flags yet. No, like not at all. Which is 
really positive. Usually there's a few. Yeah. I definitely think red flags, like, as soon as there's a small red flag, you just have to go. Yeah, you have yeah. to cut off. Because that's only ever going to multiply. Yeah, no, it's so true. No matter how many times you learn your lesson, you don't listen. Not yeah. You, no, I feel like, um, like, now I'm older, I listen to those things more. Really? Yeah, I think that when I was younger, I probably wouldn't think about twice about a red flag. I'd be like, oh, they made a mistake. But yeah, yeah like life is too short to date shit people. Or just be in situations that aren't, aren't right. Yeah, it, like, it's situations that make you feel uncomfortable. Or like, um, <laughs> I'm not aiming at this at you. <laughs> I'm really talking about myself. Yeah. That's Wait, what's that film? He's not, he's just not that into you. Yeah. That worst thing. Actually, no, it wasn't even a worst thing. It was just really embarrassing for him. <clears throat> um. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're talking about worst dates. You can go first. So, I went on this date and... <laughs> This is so it's bad. so bad. So when I, oh, I saw him and he was like, he was really cute and um, he was like, oh yeah, but I, I don't think I told you this bit. So I messaged him where to go and he was like, oh, okay, I'm outside. And I was like, oh, there are no tables outside. And he was like, yeah, there is. And I was like, oh, go and sit oh, in no. there then. Oh no, he's waiting outside. Yeah, he was like, no, no, I'll wait outside. And I was oh, like, okay. God. No, that's really weird. Like the manly thing to do is go in, get the table. Yeah, get around the drinks first. Get around the drinks. Yeah. Don't wait outside that you're waiting for your mate. Yeah. Anyway, so he stood outside and I saw him. And like, he just looked really shy and like, he was he was fine. He was yeah, nice. he's a cutie. Yeah. yeah. Um, so as soon as I saw him, I was like, oh, okay. Um, and he was like really nervous. He like hugged me and was like, um, And then, anyway, we went inside and he got the first round of drinks. And we were just chatting and um, it was very dry, like, he was really like nervous. Talk. Yeah, like he was, you could tell that he just wasn't comfortable. Yeah. And then he was going to show me a picture of his dog <laughs> on um, his phone. And I like looked over and as soon as he opened his phone, the, la the like thing on his screen, the last search was flirty date questions. <laughs> and I literally looked at it and I was like, Oh and then my he like God. quickly got rid of it. He quickly flicked up, and then the next thing that popped up was my profile. <laughs> so I was literally like me. He's I was so nervous. Flirty date questions, and the question is, did he ask you any flirty date questions? Well, as soon as I saw that, I was like, what has he asked me that's been flirty? And there hasn't been any questions, so I don't know. You must be too nervous to actually pull through. <laughs> yeah. Bless him. Aww. I don't know if he knew I saw that either. So the whole date, I was just there like. No. Um. But yeah, bless him. Nice, but not for me. Um, I'm trying to think of my worst date. I once went, went on this date. I was a bit. I was a lot younger. This is when I lived at home in Brighton. First of all, we got the train, so we went rock climbing. And we got the train, which first of all was a bit odd. Rock climbing. Yeah. Um, but I was like, Do you know, it's, it's a fun activity. Something a bit different. Yeah, I yeah. Expect that. And so that was a bit awkward getting the train. It was only like a ten minute train journey. It was a bit weird. Is this your first date with them? Yeah. And then we arrived, and first of all, he kind of like went in front of me in the queue, and he paid for himself and left me behind. But bearing in mind, it was three pounds to go rock climbing. Three pounds that he went and paid for himself and then not me. And then he was just really awkward and like a bit weird and like not very chatty. I was obviously being chatty and then um, he was just like making, he like was obviously trying really hard to flirt. So he'd just say the odd random like flirty comment like, oh your bum looks really good and I'd be like, thanks. Yeah and then we got back to Brighton and I was like kind of expecting him to be like Johnny go for a drink and he was like, oh my mates are playing football. And I was like, okay, Wait, then. What, how old were you here? I think I must be nine. No. Eight, 19, I'd say. Oh my god, and you didn't go for a drink, you went rock climbing instead. What the hell? Yeah, I know, that's actually really weird. Why we, oh, I think he just thought it was a bit obvious. I but like, you were like 16 having to go rock climbing. No, no, no. No, no, like, we were adults. Well, not adults, but. Um, but yeah, and weird. then he went and played football with his mates. I feel really bad talking about like dating and stuff like that. And then you're opening up about your dating life on my channel, whereas I really don't, and I feel oh, kind of bad yeah. about that. I did kind of go touch on this in my last video, how, um, I don't know, it's just something that's quite tricky to open up to about at the moment. I think 
it's really different for you though, because this is your channel. No one comes on here looking for my information. Well, they might do. You do this kind of like long distance thing for a while. And it's very difficult, um, which is why I haven't opened up about it. Because it hasn't been a straightforward thing at all. And you know, if it was a simple, straightforward thing, and it was, and I could kind of see into the future a bit more, then it would be so different. But I can't, and that's where I struggle to open up about it. Because until I know what I'm doing, I don't want to tell the world. Um, no, I think you're just the kind of person that is always so like precise and like not perfect, but like um, particular in in how your life goes. And when you're not sure about something, or you're not like when something isn't a hundred percent. Yeah. Then you're not going to say anything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like introducing a boyfriend to your parents. You don't want to introduce that boyfriend unless you are really sure about that. Yeah, and can see a, a solid future with it. Yeah, and know where your path is going. But I think where in the situation I've got going on, it's always been really just tricky because of long distance, the pandemic. Um, where people are living and it, it's just really hard and I would not recommend long distance to anybody. This is the most I've spoken about this ever on my YouTube channel. I'm getting a bit weird right now. But um I do think it's important to be open about these things sometimes. Yeah it definitely is. But um, I think like you can open on like this you don't have to say something you want to do. No, no. I just want to give like a bit more I think it's different for me as well because I'm so sporadic. <laughs> And like, I will literally say what's on my mind straight away. Yeah. I don't keep it in like how you would, and you like form everything in a perfect sentence in your head, and I don't. Yeah, that's true. So it's fine. I mean, I wish I was a lot more like you. Really? Yeah, because like, I will say something to myself like 20 times before I say it out loud or to be, and sometimes people be like, hey, why haven't you told me about this? And I'm like, I have. And she's like, no, you haven't. And I'm like, I've just thought about that so much. I had said it. Yeah, there's so many times where you don't tell things. I know, it's really bad. Um, but I'm trying to work on it, okay? This is, um... Yeah. Well, yeah. And I think I'm definitely rubbing off on you. Yeah, you are. I don't think it's a bad thing, how you've been. Mm -hmm. I think you're entitled to your own privacy as well. Yeah. And I don't want to ever portray that I have a perfect life or anything like that. And I'm not hiding it because I don't think it's perfect. It's more that it's not just me involved. There's another person involved. So it's not just my decision. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, we've got 20 minutes left to go on the road. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> you did a really good job of cutting my hair. Oh, thank you. I cut Bee's hair for her. Oh my god, I found this bit end. <gasps> yeah, you did. I was doing it this morning and I was like, hey, it actually looks quite healthy. Okay, so even though it's Monday morning, this door is apparently full. So we have to go to this like car park. Car park? Car park. We made it! So we're on the bus. It feels like we're on a school train. Yeah, yeah. The view from the bus. I'm gonna wear masks. We made it and it's still raining but it's okay. Okay, we're gonna head into Designer Exchange, which is a new store here. Just looking in the in the window, they've got a gorgeous Chanel cushion, the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs. That would look so good at our apartment. That would look really nice. I really like that. It's only one and a half grand. No, one point two. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. They have this gorgeous Dior bag. Um, you guys might remember I was looking at this one a while ago. It's so nice. See, that's a very B bag. Yeah, I really like that. How much is it? Just 1.3. That's quite a lot of money for a Prada bag as well. Yeah. They also have a few of the Louis Vuitton holdalls. Okay, we're in Sandro now, and there's this gorgeous like cardigan. Um, very similar to the one I was wearing earlier on in the vlog. Okay, we're going into Bottega next. Oh, that one? Yeah. I love this one. Very like simple. Has it got a strap? Yeah, it does have a strap. Yeah, that's nice. I like this one. That's very you. That's, that's so, so you. nice. Very cute.
No. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I also love this one. Don't need another camel coat, but it's gorgeous. The ones that I have obviously healed mm -hmm. and so long. So we're in Marisol now. This is this gorgeous bag here. They've also got it in cream. Oh, they're so cute. They really suit you. Do they? Yeah. Oh, I love them on you. Did you buy them? No. You wouldn't? No. Why? Okay, they've also just seen they have boots that I have. Oh no, they're actually a lot shorter. Oh, I just love the ones that I have so much. They have those ones as well, which are nice. They've also got these. Stunning. Very cool. <laughs> Oh, I'm not a fan. Really? No. No. <laughs> you look like um, a kid of goggles on. Willy Wonka. Yeah, Willy Wonka. Oh, I love these. Oh, yeah, they're gorgeous. I love them. Really 168. They also have this gorgeous bag, a very simple classic. How much is this one? 365, and now it's 890. Yep. It's not boring. Okay, Kate's just picked up a Burberry trench. Um, it's got like the tartan inside, which is so pretty. It's, it's just really cool. This is really cool. <laughs> there you go. I feel like this is a classic. It's never going to go out. Yeah, I love it. No, that's so nice. I think you should get that. It's really nice. Yeah, I think you should get it. Yeah, I do. No, I actually think that's perfect. If, do they have an eight? No, no, I don't like that one as much. It's also more expensive. Yeah, have you decided? She's gonna get it. It is really nice. Okay, everyone's not letting us film in store, which is quite annoying, but we're gonna go into Fendi now, see what's in here. I have met three of you guys today, and it's honestly made my day. It makes me so happy to meet you all. Yeah, honestly, it's just the best feeling, and it makes this job, it's like one of the best parts of the job, actually, is meeting people. So, got photos of all of you, and had a nice chat, and yeah, I'm just really happy. As you can see, I'm just buzzing. morning guys happy what day is it today tuesday so this vlog will be going live tomorrow I didn't end the vlog yesterday because we drove back i then had a live coaching session and then edited until quite late so here we are but i thought we could do a little unboxing show you guys what i picked up starting off with the white company picked up some really nice bits well really nice very basic very boring bits but these are the kind of things that i get excited over so i got two Egyptian cotton deep fitted sheets. Now I have my mattress plus a really thick um, topper on it. I need I need these deep sheets, otherwise it just comes off. And a white company are just the best for bedding. So these were £118 reduced to £75, which is really good actually. And then I also picked up a new reed diffuser. This is in mistletoe, which is cedar, spruce, and amber. And because we have a fake Christmas tree this year, the house doesn't smell of Christmas, and this smells like Christmas. So hopefully that will compensate for the lack of Christmassy smells, so let's open it now. The White Company and Vista, it's not a huge, and half of it is actually cloves and like baby products. So um, there's not a massive selection, but they've got a really good range of like scents, fragrances, and like lots of like their plain bedding, but 
Oh, this is actually a much bigger one. I've got one of these in my bathroom and it's about half the size. And then we also picked up six new mugs. Um, we have a couple of these style already. And at the moment, all of our mugs are really like mismatched. We've just got loads of different ones. So we thought we would have everything the same. Um, we actually also intended to get like new plates, bowls, um, like new everything, but they didn't have everything there. So um, these were reduced from 10 pounds to, I think they were about six pounds. Just a very plain, simple, boring mug, but B and I are both quite fussy with our mugs. Like the rim can't be thick and they have to hold a good amount of tea. These are quite short, but they're wide, so. But yeah. Um, and then my next purchase is one that I wasn't intending to buy, but then again, I don't really feel like you can go to Vista and decide what you want to buy because you never know what's going to be there. But I did get the Burberry Trench and I've always wanted the Burberry Trench, but I didn't want to buy one brand new for full wax. So I was always looking at vintage and it didn't really occur to me that they had one in Vista. So when I saw this, I, I mean, I just thought it was fate. And it's the gorgeous camel color. You have the iconic Burberry lining and this is a coat that you'll have for life because the quality is so good and they're built to last and they're never gonna go out of style because they are a classic. I'm actually so happy with this purchase. There are a lot of different options in the Burberry there. Um, and I was really umming and ahhing about this one because it's quite a masculine oversized fit and I wasn't sure whether to go between that or a more like tailored feminine fit. But the ones that were more tailored and feminine were a lot shorter and I always tend to go for longer coats. And it was 1,590, but I got it for 1,110. I'm honestly just so excited to wear this. Not sure how much wear I'm gonna get out of it this time of year because it's obviously a trench, so more suited to the spring and autumn seasons. But nonetheless, it's um it's just a great buy anyway for the rest of the day i've actually got so much to do i've got a few campaigns to shoot i've definitely bitten off more than i can chew this christmas in terms of work but when brands approach me that i buy anyway and that i love so much it's very very hard to say no to them and i'm so so selective with my work and we say no to most things that do come through it's a very good problem to have though so i'm not complaining but it means i have to go crack on with all of that work now i will see you guys in my next video which will be on sunday thank you so much for watching i love you all so 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 much and i'll see you next time bye Mwah.